Okay, so now we're just going to make a couple of tension wrenches before we finish that pickup so we have something that we can use as tension. I got two different thicknesses here. We're going to make a normal tension wrench with this thicker guy, and we're going to make a smaller top tension wrench with this guy. Alright, so I just made a few different lengths here. So we have our two thicker ones. Let's bend those first. The very simplest and easiest bend you can make in a tension wrench is just to grab a decent amount of it here and 90 degree bend. Maybe a little past 90. There. Lovely. And this will fit in the bottom of your keyway. Boom. So tension wrenches in their most basic form are incredibly easy to make. But I want to talk about making a twisted tension wrench as well. So for this one, before I bend, I want to twist about that much material so I have a little more flexibility. In this case, I'm just going to pass this through the lock and twist 90 degrees. And that gives me a nice twist to begin with. And then I can just bend this over. All right. So I have a twisted tension wrench, which is going to be more comfortable for my fingers because they'll be able to rest on the flat of the blade, and that twist will add more flexibility, which gives us a wider range of tension that we can apply. Finally, I want to talk about my favorite little top tension wrenches. These ones, we won't use these right off the bat. In fact, I just use two locks. So, first, pass this guy into here, just like before. And then using this, I'm going to twist the top of it, like so. And then using the top of this keyway, this is how I'm measuring the depth of how deep I want this pick to be. We'll bend that over. Because you don't want the top tension wrench to be too deep and not fit. There we go. So I got a little bend from the front, and then I just used this back post here to bend it out the rest of the way. Same with the other side. A little bend from the front so I know where it's at, and the back post to bring it the rest of the way. Awesome. And now the last step is that I want to add a couple of tiny serrations. I'm just going to do that with the cutting part here. Cut into the side. Perfect. And cut into the side. Perfect. So now I have a couple of little serrations here that will help me hold really cleanly in my lock. So tension wrenches are pretty easy to make, and you can experiment with all different sorts. But I definitely recommend making yourself a little top tension wrench, because they're invaluable.